Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Trench Tech. Today we're going to be opening this AEO dry contact sensor. Let's go ahead and cut the tabs here at the bottom. It's already starting to slide out. So it is a dry contact sensor, Gen 5. We can see that it is Z-Wave Plus. And it's high sensitivity, connects to any dry contact output, and it is battery operated. So this is very similar to the um, water sensor, it just doesn't have any probes on it. Important, please read first. Let's see if we can focus on it here. This product has been fully tested and certified to work with Z-Wave by the Z-Wave Alliance. It is crafted using Z-Wave Plus, the latest device version of Z-Wave. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Oh. I do have some 3M sticky and a couple of screws. And the sticky is stuck to this device, which is super irritating. Let's see if one off the other corner. Well, we got most of it, but. Yeah, so this is very similar in size, except the water one has leads already coming out of it. The back, Let's see how this the button pops off here. Then we have T1 and T2. Let's see, it's a CR123A. That's too bad because I think my other Z waves are just slightly different. I think they're like CR12 or something. So it did have a little plastic stopper to keep it from draining the battery. And then it looks like you push these down and then you can feed the wire in and then release it to lock it. So we'll find some wire and we'll do a little test here. All right, so we just got some wire. We pulled it just from an ethernet cable. And we are gonna try pushing these down at the same time and putting the wire in. So yeah, it's very firm and secure. So that should be great. Now, we're gonna use a magnetic contact to trip it. Eventually we're going to install this in a doorbell. So we'll have links to both of these down below and then later on we'll show you how we connected it to our doorbell. But let's go ahead and end the unboxing here. So it again, a little contact sensor uses whatever wires you want and it is a CR123A 3 volt battery. We'll have links to everything down in the description. If you do have additional questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.